I will surprise you by telling you that the department of Zwenula presently has 103 years of existence. But when you consider its level of development, you have the impression that it is a district that was created only 10 years ago. This is because it is only now that Christianity has succeeded in reaching this population. The presence of Pastor Mohamed Samogo here is a great delight for the city of Zunula. We are really happy and pleased to have that here. In order for you to come on earth and be here with me today, you had to take part in a great race in your mother's womb. Scientists say that when a woman becomes pregnant, there are 300 million people who can be born. That is more than 10 times the population of Côte d'Ivoire, more than half the population of Africa. If you were born, it's because you won a race that had 300 million runners racing against you. You are of great value. You came to solve major problems. You have a great destiny. If you give up on your destiny, if you don't go through with it, too many people will suffer. We have been informed that there is a major distribution of gifts and that is why we're here this morning. What is happening here is something we've never seen before. I have tears in my eyes. I lost my husband two months ago, but because of this program, I am really happy and I thank the man of God for all he has been able to do. As the village chief, I am telling the inhabitants of the whole department of Zwenula to go to church. In Zwinla this morning, as usual, we have a lot of people, and this morning we had really complicated cases. We had emergencies, cases of epilepsy, cases of seizure. We took them in and then transferred them to the general hospital. New cases of surgery for the removal of hernia, fibroids are presented to us this morning in greater number although we have already drawn up a list for those to be treated. Therefore, we would like to appeal to all the brothers and sisters so that they can help us take care of all these people. So, to 931 campaign is in Zwenula, and we will do what God has asked us to do. And we are going to leave a region free from every evil spirit. The Bible says that there's a time for everything. And we think that God's time has come for the city of Zwenula. So that the women of Zwenula can truly change their positions and enter God's favors. With the proclamations that will be made later, many situations here will be clarified. Many people are here and need peace. My brother, listen to me. The solution of peace to your soul, for your life, the solution of for peace is Jesus of Nazareth. That is why God sent us here to Zwenula to bring you the good news of the gospel. You've cried enough. You've suffered enough. He says, Arise and be enlightened. 
Zwenula, God sent us to you to tell you that your suffering is over. Never again will the cross pursue you. Now, the chains are falling, the demons are leaving. You are freed from the hold of magic, witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Our brother could not walk without his two crutches for more than 28 years. What? 28 years? You've been walking around with this for 28 years? Yes. You drop these crutches. Yes, you can walk in the name of Jesus. Since 2014, he had not been able to walk well because of an accident he had. Seeing myself walk like this, I feel as though I'm dreaming. You feel as though you are dreaming? Yes, he thinks he's having a dream. May the blood of Christ preserve you. Our mama says her vision has been blurred for a year now. It started with an ulcer and then when there were loud noises such as these ones, I would suffocate. After the prayers of healing, I moved closer to the speakers to see if I was going to die from the loud sound. My reasoning was that the men of God are around and should that happen, God will resurrect me. So I approached the sound system and up till now, I don't feel anything. And my eyes which couldn't see clearly, I can now see you perfectly. So if, so if I do my fingers like this, can you see? Yes, I see your two fingers. I see your two fingers, Pastor. Okay, now there are how many fingers here? There are three. He couldn't hear at all for 14 years. He couldn't hear at all. I couldn't hear with both ears for more than 14 years. He had not heard a thing. And today he came for prayer. He can hear well now. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, it's okay. Hallelujah. For 23 years, she hasn't been hearing well. I haven't heard perfectly for almost 23 years. But when Pastor was praying, my ears suddenly popped open and I started to hear. My ears opened up. Yes, my ears opened up totally. And I praise God. I went to bed and I left my son here. So in the morning when I woke up, his older sister called me, Mommy, Mommy, Ange is walking. And so I opened the door, I started running. Then I told her, go away. And then she replied and said, Mommy, it's true, Ange is walking. And I said, Ange, get up. And Ange got up from his wheelchair. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is wonderful. I am now walking. I wasn't born like this. I used to go to school in Dimokro. I got to year six and came here for vacation in Zwenula. Then when I returned, the sickness began. They took me to the hospital. They did all the tests. Blood tests, urine tests. We did all kind of tests. And then I was told I had nothing. We went everywhere to see the greatest witch doctors. My mother told me, my mother sold all her fabrics because she wanted to see me walking, but didn't walk. So I said, I will stop crying and give my life to Jesus. And today, when pastor said, have faith and rise up, I thought to myself, Ange, you can do it. And by God's grace, I got up. <laughs> 